Hello YouTube. Let's do a video on the Syntec P37772. I used it about three times. I got it from uh, Harbor Freight. And I'll show you what happened. Yeah, that's what happens when, uh, you know, South Carolina sun bakes shit. Yeah, it does that. It'll, it'll bake the hell out of you. And everything you put in it. And it heated up the uh, ribbon that connects to the LCD screen. And apparently it came unsoldered. Um, manufacturers, Harbor Freight, you're going to use a multimeter outside. There might be sun. Uh, yeah. And uh, when you got shit like this, it, it ain't going to work too well. I mean, it was in the sun maybe an hour before I noticed. You know, I turned it on. I was, well, the screen was black, of course. Uh, you know, if you leave an LCD in the heat, in the sun, it will turn completely black. Uh, so... After it cooled down, I turned it on just to make sure, and sure enough, there it went. But an hour, I mean, I can understand if I left the windows up, left it in the dash, and left it there all day long. But, you know, leaving it with the windows down, sun hitting it at an angle, yeah, through the windshield. Come on. $25. Harbor Freight. Well, let's see if we can uh, fix it. Sometimes we can, sometimes we can't. So far, my review would have to be um, for $25 uh, a point five out of 20 There we go. It worked great for three times that I used it and then you know if you can't see what you're doing with it I mean I did have it rigged up with rubber bands and a piece of cardboard on there just to hold it down but then again I also got a good amp probe in there that I could use that I trust a whole lot better than this but the reason why I got it was it had a capacitance checker yeah most multimeters don't have capacitance. My Ampro does, but uh, to tell you the truth, I have no idea why I got this. I think I got this before I got the Ampro. And uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, the features was nice. It clipped up, you know, tilting display. A display that does not work too well. Nice rubber casing. Thick. Pretty thick stuff. Um, probes. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't trust my life with them. But, you know, for low voltage uh, electronics, great. Because, as you see, the rubber comes all the way to the tip, and you just got a tip there. So, you know, you don't short anything out while you're poking around in your electronics. And the boot, that's why I got the tape measure here. Look at this. I mean, an inch long boot. Yeah, maybe if you've got a professional, professional multimeter. But on this cheapy, all it does is stand it out where it makes it easier to snap your freaking uh, jack. Or screw it up, you know. What you're going to do, it's a cheap one. You're going to throw it around. But yeah, that's going to, I know what it's going to do. It's, it's going to break the connection at the back of the connector where the screw goes into the little cheap, cheap metal. Anyways, let's rip you apart before this video gets too damn long. Three Phillips, of course. Made in China. <laughs> Who would have thought? I mean, Really? They don't like anything there.
crazy. Must be top of the line. Oh, it's QC Pass, too. I mean, quality check. Hello. Hello, quality. Oh, that just looks... That just looks amazing. See, we do... Hey, hey, we do got brass inserts. I give them that. Uh, regular, cheap, throwaway, everyday fuse. Yeah, yeah, you don't trust your life with that kind of shit. Of course not. It's a cheap monitor. You don't trust your life with cheap monitors. Uh... Yeah, tip of the day, don't trust your life with cheap multimeters. Click, click, click. Ooh, plasticky. Not much to it at all. And I gotta take all them screws out, but you know what? I'm just messing with the screen here, so, uh, see if there's a way just to take off the screen. Hopefully, without screwing up the ribbon cable or the back of the plate off. But it's angled at such that I cannot get to the lower screws with it in there. So that means I'm probably going to have to get to the hinges, which are behind this board here. Oh. I could wait the board's loose in there what the hell then what are those screws holding in what the hell oh spectacular oh there we go easy access and there's the freaking ribbon cable the ribbon cable of cheapness big long header pin Looks like the header pin goes directly through to the LCD. But I would imagine it's probably inside the display itself here. Um, piezoelectric, oh, that thing barely worked. I should have showed you the uh, buzzer effect. Sucks. It really sucks. Uh, make sure I'm using the right ones here. Come on. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Make sure I got it on that middle. Okay. Oh wait, oh wait, yeah, that could be a problem. Houston, we've got a problem. I'll find it one day. Okay, where am I? Okay. I think. Okay, I need to be over there. Okay. 
Okay, it's either one way or the other. Then, hmm. I think it's that way. Yep, that's it. Now tell me if that ain't sad. Oh, you're probably wondering what that what that is flashing on there. That's my LED bulb up there on the fan. Uh, that's a bit white. Okay. All right. As you can tell, Bezos sucks ass. Now on to our display problem. stop the video here and I will do a part two because I've got limited hard drive space on this so yeah whatever